Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Thrift Store Prepper. And today we might have a little short and sweet um, demonstration, tutorial, how to make kind of uh, episode. And what we might going to be using today are some products that we had left over from um, last week's uh, videos, which was some petroleum jelly and some hand sanitizer. Now we already made a, some homemade fire lighters using the petroleum jelly and... The cotton pads and today we're gonna show you how we can make um, a fire lighting gel by using hand sanitizer and petroleum jelly now I've already started production a little bit uh, before I started filming to save some uh, time and in, in effort in uh, this video maybe a little short video might get a little bit more view so I've already mixed um, some of the hand sanitizer in here and using a drinking straw I've uh, started to mix in the petroleum jelly as much as I can um, now this little container that I'm using was something that contained um, actually I can show you exactly what it contained it was the crazy glue the super glue it was one of these little containers but uh, I've dropped the lid and it's gone underneath my pantry believe it or not so I'm gonna have to fish that out after the video but here you can see I'm um, we're utilizing something that may be have thrown out and we're going to put in here some uh, fire lighting gel we can maybe add this to our little fire lighting kit that we started building and um, maybe i should get that out right now and you know and this is things that we're putting together out of stuff that we may not have needed or was uh, surplus to requirements for other projects so at the moment we've gone in here some of our uh, homemade fire lighters and we got some matches so you know we can take out a box of matches or two because we don't really need that many boxes they're just in there for storage at the moment maybe we can tuck our little um homemade fire lighter gel in there as well so here we are you know it's a little demonstration of how you can use things that may have often be trashed that uh we can um use for for an emergency reason or you know maybe just fun reasons if you're going out camping and um barbecuing in the coming months because summer does seem to be getting ever ever so much closer and um we are in the early stages of spring here in canada and uh the northeast of america so that's good so um okay so we've mixed that up as good as we can and we've got a little spillage but you know what on the thrift store prepper we always seem to have some spillage be it ramen oatmeal soy um, fortified beverage and in this case maybe some homemade fire lighter and gel now the other thing this kind of is which I probably shouldn't mention because it could get deleted is um napalm it's a homemade napalm let's just leave it at that use your own imagination as to what you could also use this for as opposed to um fire lighting purposes but there you go so we're going to put a little bit more of the uh hand sanitizer in and as you can see we kind of got a little bit of a gel substance similar to maybe hair gel that we used to use back in the 1980s i don't know if uh kids still use hair gel today i certainly don't use it anymore that i've uh lost my hair and shaved my head so no need for hair gel but you can see we've got a little goopy gel substance going on in there maybe maybe just a little bit more vaseline or petroleum jelly because this isn't actually a branded product um if i can get my finger in there and get something oh fuck it that's just sorry for my cursing um but we're getting a little bit more there we are that's what we're looking for so you know have fun and games with what you can suggest with that finger of vaseline or rather petroleum jelly let's not use too many brand names there and miss product placement so um there you go nothing exactly very difficult to uh work out and you just mix this as much as you can trying to sort of separate the petroleum jelly from going into goops like we are getting now and the more you mix it maybe a drinking straw wasn't the best implement to use but you know we're improvising and maybe not in the ways that macgyver or bear grills would improvise but we're improvising with the things we have lying around and, you know not everyone is a bear grills macgyver type not everyone has you know cool um, gadgets and accessories and can afford to go to the camping store or the survival store and get these expensive products like fire lighting gel so this is how we make it out of a uh, few items we got at the dialer store that were lying around you know this little tub's going to cost us about maybe 20 20 cents or less who knows um 
hard to work out. So as we've got some column wool here, let's uh, use that to clean up what mess we've made. And um, let's put our little homemade kit there to the side. And uh, what I have here is a little tea light um, container. You know the little tea lights you get? Well, we've got one of those that's empty here. And let's give it a little test. Just a very tiny piece. And uh, you know, let's use fingers. See if that one now maybe a little bit more, and let's see if this actually works. So uh, we've got a lighter, and yeah, there is a flame, and you can hear it burning. So there, it worked. And if you heard the sizzle, um, but didn't necessarily. Yeah, the flame, I can tell you, that did get very hot and um, very quickly, and it was kind of like a blue flame. So um, there you go. That's proof that our homemade uh, napalm stroke fire lighting fume does indeed ignite. And um, it actually got a little bit hot on the finger there. And luckily enough, I got it out before uh, any second or third degree burns happen but yeah it's kind of like when you touch a hot pan or something in the kitchen you get that initial little burn that kind of stings a little bit afterwards so there you go there was a short and sweet little thrift store prepper tutorial how to make fire lighting gel out of petroleum jelly and hand sanitizer and um you know i did want to kind of talk title this video make your own napalm from at home but I don't think that would last very long on YouTube. So here you go. There's a, a multi-purpose um, item that we've made from items that we didn't really need or had lying around at home. And something that's going to go in our little fire lighting kit that we're putting together out of the travel wipes container that wasn't needed in um, our bug out bag build that we did a couple of days so there you go another different little video from the thrift store prepper and you know maybe leave a comment in the section below if you like these little short and sweet videos or if you prefer the longer ones you know i am trying to please my audience to a little bit of a degree um and so far this week after the uh the dizzy heights of the 50th episode and the 50th um subscriber to my channel um things have quietened down a little bit um you know my views last week were off the hook and i had a uh, had the best week in, in in my short history of this channel um in terms of views where we had over 300 views for one channel and uh one video actually got over 50 50 views in one day but um the videos that i uploaded on uh monday are a little bit sorry um compared to those figures um, they have got a few views and um you know you've got to take the rough with the smooth so that's kind of why i thought maybe make another little shorter sweeter swifter tutorial video on how to make something from items we have lying around in another instance of making a video out of nothing to see if uh see if it gets a couple of uh couple of um people thinking in in using their their minds to to build um look around what they have it at home and see how they can utilize it and maybe make something different from from what it already is or or, or you know moldy purposing is what i'm trying to look for um i have smoked a little bit of marijuana today it is my day off so all that being said I'm going to draw this little video to an end because, as I said, it was going to be a short little one. So that was how to make your own fire lighting gel. And let's see how many people watched this one. So it's been a shit video production for the thrift store prepper. And we'll see you next time. Take care.